Okay, so welcome back and just a quick video today and hopefully uh, an interesting one for Sunday. So, for all those who watched my last video and those who haven't, go and watch it. Um, it's A. A is Olympus and B is Agfa. So, if you've not watched the previous video, this won't make any sense to you whatsoever. So go and watch that and if you've watched the video, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so today is a little video I was called by a friend and he had, a, I thought what he had was a camera that needed testing. And it wasn't just one camera, it was not one, not two, but three cases with cameras in. And um, so I'm going to go through them now, what they were or what they are. And um, hopefully I'm going to get out with one of the cameras over the weekend in London and take some shots with it because I've got to run some tests on all of them because he wants to find out and there's some I'm interested in buying. Anyway, enjoy. Okay, so in the first case we've got a Minolta Dianex 3000i with a 35 to 80 3.55.6 lens which is the standard lens which would have come with the camera. Don't know much about the camera, I did switch it on, I did put a new battery in there and it's just got like these two settings, a program and a super, and I don't really under know what that is. Now the Vivitar, you can see, that's not a lens, that's a times two converter, so that'll basically double up the uh, the focal length. Um, don't, I don't like them at all, I don't think, that, I, I think you really lose a lot with them. And also a dedicated flash. Now, from what I understand with the Minolta cameras is that these dedicated flashes are nothing like ordinary flashes and when you remove the cap off the top of the Minolta um, it's, a, it's a special fitting I don't think there's any adaption to that or not that I know of anyway but it's quite interesting that it's, it's the first time I've ever seen a Minolta Dynex with an actually dedicated flash which is quite interesting but when I did switch the camera on there's that, there was actually that Kodak gold film inside uh, so I put a, a 2CR5 battery in one that I knew that works it wound it back but it was just I think there's a power issue with this camera, but until I test it, I don't know. Anyway, on to bag two. Okay, in bag two, I've got a Minolta Dynex 7000i with a 35 to 105 zoom lens. I'm guessing that's 3.55.6, uh, 100 to 300 zoom lens. Let me just check what that is. That's 4.55.6. You've then got a standard 50mm lens and a Sigma 24 2.8 lens. So this is getting to be quite good. Now again, so I put a battery in the camera and I think it's got the same sort of power issues as the other one has because I've tested the lenses and the batteries all in my one and they work fine on that but they don't work fine on this one. So I'm going to order a new 2CR5 battery and do a proper test to make sure this does actually work properly or if it's got a power issue which is, you know, you can get these cameras bodies for 15 quid. So, but the lenses, great, <laughs> really love them. Okay, in bag three we've got a Minolta X300 and this is one of the cameras I've been hoping to buy at some point or to try. Obviously, you know these are not my cameras and these have been lent to me to test for the current owner to see if they still work. So I've got to go to London at some point over the next day or so. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this along with me, put a, a roll of Fomapan 200 in there and take it out and try it out. So you've got the X300. Now I've put some batteries in it and it's sparked up, come to life. Shutter seems to be working fine. Exposure seems to be all right. Light meter seems all right. So that's quite a good pleasing thing. So I've had a chance to, as I'm recording this, I've had a chance to look at the, um, uh, look at whether if they're working or not. It's got, a, I think it's a Chiron times two teleconverter. As I say, not, in, not really interested in those. I don't think, I, I think they've just really helped deteriorate the quality of the lens and a 3.5135 millimeter lens as well so i'm actually super excited about this one and i'm super excited about the the lenses on the minolta the uh, the af lenses because i would like to buy those lenses from the guy who who who, they, who owns them at the moment and uh, that might be a thing 
So on Sunday, you'll see the results of this, whether the camera works or not. I'm very hopeful from the tests I've done so far on it that it actually is working. Uh, the only problem I could envisage is that they're having light leaks.